Hey, what's up guys? Game Fan Fan Raw Games here, and I'm back to give you my review on last night's Extreme Rules. I just want to run through this very briefly because I have to really have to leave in less than a, less than 20 minutes. So I'm trying to throw this video out in less than five. Probably might go to seven. But the first match was uh, Dean Ambrose versus uh, The Miz. And I predicted what would happen, you know, with the Maurice uh, slapping the Miz to get Dean Ambrose disqualified. And but they, there was a lot of white naughty going on. The referee was trying to prevent a DQ as much as possible, which is normally isn't the ref's job in such a way to to on put like an infinis, uh, an infinis on. I can't pronounce the word, but you know, put on you know more effort than usual to try to stop a DQ but um, it was a great match and it ended with uh, Miz doing the skull crushing finale when Maurice distracted the ref because the ref was throwing banning Maurice from ringside the Miz threw Dean Ambrose into the ref and the ref was walking his way to the bell to disqualify the, the, the uh, Dean Ambrose distracted Dean Ambrose because Dean Ambrose was trying to stop the ref and then the Miz from behind his go cross the finale. The ref then run backs in the ring like he's John Cena coming down from the ramp and does the one, two, three count. And the Miz is now a seven time IC champ. To me, I would really like five because if you want to count the two title switches he did with Dolph Ziggler to, to get the number up there. But now he's officially a seven time IC champ and there's only one other person with more IC titles and that's Chris Jericho so Chris Jericho has nine The Miz has seven so congrats on on The Miz then after that we have the mixed tag match which we're just going to skip it was just there to fill time Really nothing, really nothing good or bad to say about that match. It's just Wick Swan and Sasha Banks uh, won, which I think I predicted that in yesterday's video. But on to Bailey versus Alyssa Bliss, which was total crap. You know, I thought the match was going to end because since it's a Kendall stick on a pole match, I thought the winner was going to be, you know, the first one to, to get the Kendo stick was going to win. And then you would just have to hit your opponent. So Bailey gets the Kendo stick first and doesn't beat the holy fuck out of Alyssa Bliss out of all of what she does to her the past several weeks. She lets her guard down. She hesitates. And Alyssa Bliss gets the stick away from Bailey and beats the fuck out of her. And makes Bailey look like shit. Not happy with that whatsoever. That finish makes zero sense to me. It makes her look like complete garbage and extremely weak. Mind you, this is someone who ended Charlotte Flair's pay-per-view streak. And then you write the finish to make her look like trash. I guess we, we all can't get what we want. But then moving on to the submission match, Nedville versus Austin Aries. In my opinion, it was the, the best wrestling match of the night. It was awesome, and Nedville won, and he did it all by himself, and he made Austin Aries tap out to the Rings of Saturn. I love the finish. It was his, um, I forgot what it's called, but you know, his, his somersault from the top rope on Austin Aries' back into the Rings of Saturn, and Austin Aries tapped out, and Nedville beats Austin Aries three times in a row and the last time he did it clean proving that he really really is the king of the cruiserweights and you know I've said it time and time and time again on all my wrestling videos how I'm a huge fan of when 
WWE lets the heel win clean and they've done it with Neville. He's won clean for the third and probably the last time for a while. So I don't know what's next for the Cruiserweight division. Maybe um, they, TJP gets a title shot. Maybe there's another you know, triple threat, number one contenders match. I don't know. But all I know is that the Austin Aries and Nedville uh, feud should should just end because Nedville has beaten him three straight times on three straight pay-per-views. So I don't see it anymore to, to, to continue on any further. That's just my thought. Then we have the main event, which I think we all should be happy with the result. It's, it was Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Finn Balor, and Samoa Joe. Fatal five-way, five. Two, three, four, five. Five-way for the number one contendership to face Brock Lesnar at Great Balls of Fire. And the logo looks like a giant penis. But moving on from that, great match, great segments. Uh, chaos everywhere. My favorite spot was uh, the Roman Reigns spearing both, yeah, both Balor and and Samoa Joe. I think it was through the barricade because Samoa Joe had him in the in the in the Cobra Lock, and then and then Roman Reigns came out of nowhere and speared both of them through the um, through the barricade, and then you had Seth Rollins jumping on Bray Wyatt through the announcement table, and then you had a small rematch of Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. They had their little beef stare down. And then Finn Balor comes out of nowhere with the coup de gras on Roman, and then Samoa Joe comes out of nowhere and puts the Cobra Clutch on Finn Balor, and Finn Balor passes out, and Samoa Joe wins, which was awesome. Um, I like the fact that Bray Wyatt did not take the submission or the pin. That man's character has been losing way too much. I mean, the last time he won, it took a house and three other it took a house and refrigerator and three other guys to put him over. And then every big match, Bray Wyatt is always losing. I'm so happy he did not take the the pin or the submit for this match because he's always doing that in every other big match. I know it sucks for Finn Balor, but Finn Balor, technically, he didn't tap out. His body just gave out on out on him, so that's the way that they could they could save her because he didn't tap out. He just passed out. So it's not like he submitted. His body just gave up on him. He didn't give up. His body gave up on him. So they could go the whole that routine for, for Finn Balor to save face, but it's going to be Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar, main event. Great Balls of Fire, I think that is July 9th, yes, July 9th, Great Balls of Fire, that's your main event, cannot wait to see it, and that's going to wrap up this review show on Extreme Rules, I'll be back with more wrestling news on Saturday for my Drama Script Saturday, anyway, this was Game Fiend, Fiend of All Games, signing off, and I'll see you, talk to you later guys, peace.